You can have a ball in science. We're going to make bouncy balls, and to do that we need ethyl alcohol, and I'm going to measure out 10 milliliters in my graduated cylinder. And we are also going to measure out sodium silicate. We're going to need 40 milliliters in another graduated cylinder. Now sodium silicate is extremely viscous, so it's going to take a little while to fill this entire graduated cylinder up to the right mark. Sodium silicate is actually a sealant. They use it in concrete, and they actually, in the 50s and 60s, used it to seal around eggs. And we're now up to 20 milliliters, and we're just going to wait a moment while that fills up. Now, what we're going to do is we've got two liquids, and basically what's going to happen is we're going to combine the two liquids into the, a beaker, and we're going to stir it just for about 20 seconds. Now, when those two liquids combine, uh, there's going to be a chemical reaction. It's actually an exothermic reaction. It's going to give off quite a bit of heat as it transforms from two liquids into a solid. Okay, and I'm going to put my materials away. So I have my two liquids. I have my ethyl alcohol, my 10 milliliters, and I have 40 milliliters of sodium silicate. And I'm going to combine the two. into a beaker and start to stir. And I'm already noticing a color change as well as a state change. It's changing from a liquid into a solid. And I want to continue to stir until it forms a giant clump in the bottom. Now it's also stuck to my stirring rod. So I simply pick that off, reach in there with my hands, and I'm going to grab the bits right out. Now, it doesn't really look like much right now. It doesn't look like much of a bouncy ball. Simply by squeezing it together firmly but slowly, you can begin to shape it into whatever shape you like. You can make it round for a sphere, a ball shape. You can turn it into a cube. You can even turn it into a dodecahedron. Whatever you like. Now this bouncy ball initially is going to be pretty wet. Now once you have your bouncy ball formed, you can go ahead and drop it on the table and see that it bounces. If you find your bouncy ball breaks into a bunch of pieces, all you need to do is put them in your hand and squeeze. And they'll resume their shape. And you just want to push slowly and gently and firmly till it makes a bouncy ball shape, till it makes a sphere. Now this bouncy ball is going to get you into all kinds of trouble because it's not a, a real solid. It's mostly a solid, but it's also a bit of a liquid. So if you leave this bouncy ball on the table long enough, it's going to flatten out into a pancake. Make sure you keep it in a Ziploc bag. Once it's in a fairly round shape, you can go ahead and bounce it on the table. Your bouncy ball will stay good for about a week or two, just like this. If you want to keep it for longer, make sure you make a home for it in the fridge. Just take it out whenever you're ready to play. I completely forgot my lines. You can have a ball in science. Oh! <laughs> 10 milliliters in my graduated cylinder. And I spilled. Should we do this again? Just that line? No, we're going to do that. That's the first one. Did you say measurement? You can have a ball in science. Racquetball for one. Now, to my experiment, observe what happens when I mix this 
with this. Okay, and we'll reach in here and pull it out. How are we doing? 